Hi, um, I'll make it quick. Uh, Lars told me to be aware that I'm between you and beer, so I'll be careful to not take too much time. So basically, um, to uh, give you a quick idea of how we're else we're using Tableau in HelloFresh, is basically looking at it from the business intelligence, from the data perspective, and how we tie all these data, different data sources together and then use Tableau to um, get insights and um, create reports and dashboards. Um, so to basically show what Carl just did is collect one uh, data source directly to Tableau and work with it, um, which works perfect if, you, if you're someone like Carl who's really deep into the, into the matter and can like, drive insights because he also understands the data right away and can then use Tableau to um, make his reporting a lot easier. Um, as some of you might know, um, there is, it's not always that easy. Normally you have a lot more stuff that you need to consider to like, build reports and dashboards. So this is a very, very, very small um, collection of data sources that uh, we use at HelloFresh. So it can be Google Analytics, it can be like, uh, production databases in MySQL, MongoDB, Excel files, um, all sorts of APIs from external and internal um, microservices, um, things like data virtuality, um, and many, many more. And um, they go through ETL processes into our data warehouse that's running on Hadoop. And then we can connect that to Tableau. And, um, but what uh, is really helpful as a, in the role of a BI analyst, at least at HelloFresh, you're often also um, thinking about how to improve reporting by making new data available. And that means often using data that's not available in the data warehouse yet. So the good thing is you can connect all these data sources also directly to Tableau, create dashboards, create reports, um, calculate KPIs, and then um, have a have a um, yeah case and have data to say hey so if we if we get this into the warehouse on a uh, on a regular basis um, we we can drive more insights. Um, and one other thing that uh, always falls to the global BI team is uh, global reporting um, and. Uh, also, you know, um, it was um, basically with the introduction of Tableau was centralized to our building offices um, because uh, we realized that in each country people were basically doing the same thing, often in Excel, as we've heard many times before now. Um, it took hours, it crashed, it was not insightful. So um, one of my first projects when I started last year in June was to set up a daily and weekly marketing reporting and I'll uh, Oops, uh, show you part of it, how that worked. Um, <clears throat> so um, here, um, because uh, I agree with uh, Thomas that most often live performance, uh, live uh, demos don't work. We made it as offline and non-live as possible. I have here a data source, um, really just some uh, uh, conversion data from a couple of weeks ago. Um, you can see the, the data sources, um, and what's also interesting is Tableau already recognizes a lot of the columns, so it realizes that country is a country, it realizes that um, the date string backwards is a date, so that already helps building dashboards. And um, so if I now jump into the dashboard, I, um, first of all, um, what, um, you can create hierarchies, which is useful if you have market hierarchies. So you have a channel category, then channels with that category, sub-channels, campaigns. Um, if your data structure is already set up in a way that you're able, that you already have that, um, you can create hierarchies. So basically, that allows you to just pull in this. Oh, sorry. Uh, pull in this, and then you can just click the plus here and drill down. So it makes it easier. So you can um, create a high-level overview and then um, the user can drill down by just clicking it without having to change the filter or anything. Um, but let's uh, have a look at a weekly, uh, like the weekly performance. So I'll here only select week 10. Um, so we can see which week we're looking at. And then I'll just pull in the number of records and um, I can already see um, there, the, my, my categories, my, the channels in that category, and how many conversions we drove with each of these categories. And as I prepared, uh, you can already see here the sum of each category. So that's, um, I'll remove that and show you how to add this. Um, you can basically just uh, pull in a reference line, um, put it on pane here. So that's one category is one pane. Drop it in, you select the um, measure you want to show, and then 
show the value. And you can see right away which, um, even, so you both have an aggregated view and uh, drill down into the channels within that, in those categories. So just to make it a little easier on the eyes, so all blue uh, can be boring. We'll also pull the channel category um, on color. So a bit of uh, differentiation between the different ones. And that's already like, took like 10 clicks to create a weekly overview. Um, and um, as I said before, you know, we are active in nine countries. You can imagine nine countries, nine weekly and daily reports. Um, and like ra range from one hour to four hours per day of doing this week daily, daily and or then weekly reporting. And um, I set this up once. Uh, we and then uh, upload it to Jabdo's server, set a, a refresh for every morning, and send it out every morning. And um, before anyone gets into the office, they already have an overview of um, how the last last day um, looked. And also, we'll see later can easily show um, how like the performance changed from week to week or from day to day. Um, so to show. Yeah. Uh, the weekly overview. So basically, here um, all I did is it's as you if you look at the um, like where the these pills are, it looks very similar. The only difference is that I've added here, as Carl showed before, a table calculation um, that basically shows the percent difference from the um, as from a specific dimension. Here I select ISO week, and then it calculates the difference to the previous week. Um, for each uh, for each uh, category, I'm uh, sorry for each channel here, um, and you can see um, which channels grew the most, which ones uh, slowed down um, in one view, and um, so already I can just pull this, excuse me, pull this in and pull, pull put these two things on a dashboard and have an overview of like the weekly performance of last week. Um, just like this so they align. And it's super fast and super easy to review. But now, I've, now maybe um, nobody wants to see basically the same data twice. So um, I'll, I try I'll combine the two. Um, so <coughs> uh, again, pull in as we can channel category. Have the number of conversions. Have the, this here, and. Um, now I, oops, sorry, so I week again. Here I select two, so I can also calculate the difference. So I click the one that I want to report on, with 10, and the previous one. Um, hmm. Bias. There we go. So you can see that. And um, I want the week on week change as well. So I pull this, I just duplicate the number of records, um, create a table calculation, um, say so different percent difference from, specific dimension, twice a week, relative to previous, and now here I can see uh, the uh, week on week difference again, um, to the same category level. So again, if I now want, if I want to do it down, I just click here and I get the same on um, yeah, on uh, channel level. So now, this I don't care about because this is just, I just need this data to calculate the difference, so I just hide it. And now I'm basically back to this. Um, what I can do is click here, um, have a dual access. This is, might sound familiar to some of you that are using Excel, it's also possible. And now I'm changing the way the way the, the data is shown here uh, to shape, and I can uh, basically have the same information as I had here in two two uh, two sheets basically in one. So right away I can see um, the um, the weekly performance and the week on week change, um, which uh, already gives the channel or the marketing manager for each country what they need to know about the week, and then they can ask specific questions like. Why? Why does this? Why did this channel drop down to 60, by 65 percent? Or um, what happened here? Um, and then um, one other thing that you that's always easy to do. Um, call kind of stole the show there, um, but uh, you can also just create um, maps really easily. So the problem here is, as you might have noticed, there is no 
country, like uh, geographical information in the dashboard. But uh, the good thing is it's very easy in Tableau to join different data sources. So here I have the convergence, so it's a CZ here, normally it's a data warehouse. Um, and I have another data source here with the geographies, and I can just pull them in. And you can see here, so um, if you don't know how to write SQL, you don't need to, because basically it's point and click SQL um, without even ever seeing any code. So, here you can already see, it already suggested me to join on country, which is a good idea. But then I can also join on customer ID, so I can identify each customer. And you can see here in orange, you have the um, country and the zip code information um, of each customer. So I just jump back into the dashboard. You can see my geography CSV data is now here available. I just uh, click the zip code and the number of records, click on Carl's favorite button, and boom, with a bit of zooming. So, okay, so there's a small problem because we do not actually have any Wi-Fi, it doesn't load the maps, but uh, I'm guessing you can guess which country this is. Um, so I can already see which, in which, um, um, zip codes we've sold. Um, maybe I want to change. I don't like this one. I just want dots for every, for wherever we have peop uh, we converted people. Um, there, and then I probably want to have this on size, and it actually already is. But um, they're not very distinct. So what I can do is change the size here. Oops, uh, here. All right, and um, I also want to know if certain marketing categories or channel categories are more um, successful in certain areas. So I can pull this in here. And you can already see, um, so let's zoom into the win. Oops. I think my dashboard is <laughs> Okay, but you saw the map, right? So it's <laughs> Um, all right, so just one like, quick thing. So, of course, um, this was a very quick demo. If you put a little bit more time on it, in it um, create a couple more calculated fields, it's also super easy to create a daily, daily uh, sales report, a daily conversion report, we call it. So, this is from this morning, as you can see, 3rd of Ju uh, July. Um, I just had hit the label, so you don't know how much uh, new customers we made last week. But you can here already see. So you see the week-on-week -week, uh, performance uh, comparison. You see like the last four weeks, and um, compared to the same days. So because for this week, week 27, we only have data for Monday. Um, I'm comparing it not to, of course, the whole of the last three weeks, but only to the same days, so Monday. So you can see here this um, this compares um, week uh, the 3rd of June, July to the 26th of June and to the well Mondays before that. Um, and then here I have a split between active, uh, the product splits, so which the different uh, product types we sell, um, the marketing ch channel split. Um, again, I always have to hide the uh, legends, so normally the, you know, the, the white spots are taken up by legends. And then this, um, this is basically the, the graph that I showed before, like the week on week change for each uh, channel. Yes, so, and this goes out every morning without uh, any buttons being pushed or anything. We set it up once, it runs. Um, it gives everyone that needs to know um, a quick le high level overview of what happened yesterday. Is there anything, is there a big drop in something that shouldn't have a big drop? Um, is there a big increase? Why, and um, so it enables the marketing managers of each country to, um, to ask questions right away without having to dig into the data. Right. Thank you, Paul. So, I want to invite all the speakers on stage again for the Q&A. We have Johanna and Christian, uh, Christian standing there with microphones. Challenge them, get them up the stairs. I think they need some workout. And before we do this, I want to answer some questions.